Hi everyone, welcome to a new Creative Suite online tutorial. In this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to create a countdown timer in Adobe Flash CS6. What I have in front of me is the finished product. Basically this is what you are going to create in this video tutorial. So let's get started, let's go to File, New. I'll select Action, Action Script 2.0 and I'll head over to my text tool I'll select my font which is Zernic I want the size as 70 and I'll type in the text which is countdown timer which basically lets people know it's a countdown timer it's pretty self-explanatory I will then click on the text tool again and I will add a placeholder so I'll type in double zero double zero double zero double zero basically acting as a placeholder basically the dynamic text will go where these digits are um, once you've done that you want to set the, uh, the text type to dynamic text and I'll just increase the size to a hundred and for the instance name we want to have it as time underscore text I want to position this just right down below countdown timer and then I want to select the placeholder or time underscore text I want to go to text font embedding for the name I'll type in font1 for the family I'll select the text which I'm using which is Zernic in the character ranges panel I'll select all and then once I've done that I'll click on this plus sign here which says add new font and as you can see uh, Zernic has been added to the font for embedding I'll click OK I'll then click back on my text tool I'll type in days I'll change the font size to 20 Basically what we're doing now is we're creating labels So I've got days I've got hours Minutes And lastly, I have seconds. Like so. I'll then select all of those. And I'll place them in the middle of the canvas page. So it looks more presentable. I'll click on countdown timer and I'll just go to modify transform then free transform I'll just enlarge that a bit like so now that you've done that I want to rename my layer to countdown and I want to create another layer I want to name that layer AS2, short for Action Script 2.0. I'll then click on the first frame of AS2 and I'll add the following code. The reason why I can't type it out it is because it is fairly big. However, I will be putting this, I will be placing a link in the description box where you can um, find this code. So don't worry if you didn't get that. Uh, basically, this code is a countdown timer to my birthday. And if you want to change the countdown timer or the date of the countdown timer to a specific date, you would go to variable target date. 
semicolon date and you would change the month and the date by whatever you want. So let's say my birthday was in January. I wouldn't type in one, I would type in zero. So remember the number zero corresponds to the first month of the year, which is January. And since my birthday is in October, uh, I would type I would type in uh, the number nine for the month of October, not the number ten, if that makes any sense. So once I've placed this code in, I'll hit Control and Enter, and you'll see that we have the following code. Oh, sorry, the following product, which is Countdown Timer, and it's counting down to my birthday, which is 188 days. 29 minutes and so forth. Um, if you wanted, to, if you wanted to know how you could change this countdown timer to fit uh, maybe another date like Christmas or maybe your birthday, um, I've put some information in the description box. So please look in there. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's how you create a countdown timer in Adobe Flash CS6. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos.